All right, we are back and we were discussing about a particular issue and you can still call us and let us know exactly how you feel, what, what and what should be done and who you think should receive the blame. Maybe it's not a blame game. We need a solution to this problem and I believe that the Senate is up and doing and up and about to ensure that this problem gets the necessary attention from the quarters that matter and that's the federal government and in collaboration with Lagos State Government. But really and truly, what should we do to curb the menace that the tanker drivers are actually constituting on the Lagos road today? Now, we're diverting, I mean, we're digressing a little bit, and that is talking about, you know, politics, which we normally, normally discuss on the show. Yesterday, a classical, you know, um, I mean, a very classical example of what we should expect going forward about all the numerous, you know, um, electoral petitions that we are, you know, that we've been e expressing. Yesterday, we, we had a very classical case, like I said. Dianson Wiki um, has already, you know, issued words and is characterizing the yesterday ruling, uh, you know, by the election petition tribunal as a gang up against him and the, and the River State people. Now, the Supreme Court actually ruled, you know, yesterday, in, I mean, not to the favor of Yonson Wiki. Uh, his case, you know, was a, a very, very, very... Um, Simple, pathetic case, as, as far as I'm concerned, because he lost even at the Supreme Court. Now, my challenge is just that I it, hope it was we are actually yes. I hope we are not not uh, we are not setting a bad precedent. You know, I'm afraid. You know, basically, um, let's not um, uh, also misinform the public. Um, the matter that was thrown out yesterday was not the election petition per se. It was. A, a, a preliminary objection raised at the election petition that had gone to court of appeal that also went to Supreme Court on the uh, jurisdiction of the tribunal to sit, on the power of the tribunal to sit in Abuja and not reverse. And you know, so that was what the Supreme Court decided yesterday and not the uh, election. election matters that had been decided mm. that they are saying will go on appeal and all of that. So there's still another appeal coming. Wow. Uh, which was what Bola was saying yesterday. You take the issue of jurisdiction, you go to the court of appeal. When you finish that one, you, you come back, you take the issue of evidence. You know, these are what delays uh, a dispensation of justice. Uh, but um, uh, basically, what, what happened was the, the two grounds were, one, that the... Uh, there was no consultation with um, the River State judiciaries before, you know, the tribunal judges were appointed. And then also on uh, the uh, ground that um, the tribunal was sitting in Abuja uh, out of, you know, River outside State. the jurisdiction of uh, where the election actually took place. Um, and the Supreme Court, in their wisdom, said, well, uh, first and foremost, there was no uh, 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 sitting chief judge in River State as at the time election petitions tribunals were constituted. There was no sitting chief judge. There was no sitting president court of uh, customary court of appeal, yeah. and so there was nobody to consult. You can't just be consulting um, the if there's to be any communication between the court of appeal, the NJC, and the state judiciary. It should be to the office of the chief uh, chief judge, and then secondly that since the judges raised issue of insecurity, and we all know self-preservation is very key. Exactly. And so if a man says, look, I'm not secure here to dispense justice, you cannot force the man to sit there. And we also saw the um, uh, violence that took place in Rivers before, during, and after the election. So these were the issues that um, the Supreme Court cited. But basically, yeah. uh, for me, my fear in this is that um, I hope we are not uh, laying a foundation where tomorrow anybody can raise issue of um, insecurity and then tribunals that are supposed to sit at the state headquarters are all asked to come to Abuja and sit. You know, so you can imagine that. I mean, that's, yeah, yeah, that's not, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, um, uh, you know, because it is. going to be raising a lot of issues of and then, and then who determines insecurity? These are, these are some of the issues also. Or what what, what, are, if you what remember, are the elements? When, when if you remember okay. a Boris case, um, Ibori was charged uh, at the Federal High Court in Kaduna, and then um, he went on appeal. Then the Court of Appeal ruled that uh, Fed Federal High Court, you know, for the purpose of, uh, um, for the benefit of our listeners, we all know enjoy one jurisdiction, so you can charge anybody anywhere. And so, but in Ibori's case, the Court ruled, the Court, uh, court of Appeal ruled that um, since the crime was committed 
the alleged crime was committed in Asaba. He should charge, be charged in Asaba and not mm -hmm. in Kaduna. And so to that extent, this federal high court was established hurriedly in Asaba and a judge appointed to do that. And we all knew how that matter ended. Exactly. And so I think uh, the Supreme Court later reversed that decision back to what it was. And so uh, that's why, that's my fear, basically. I, I hope we are not laying a foundation yeah, where let, let tomorrow I can, if a judge is appointed to sit in a matter in Lagos, he can just say that uh, there is insecurity, and then the matter, the tribunal will be asked to come to Abuja uh, now, to, now, to sit. Yes, correct. Um, I mean, sorry about that. I mean, I just uh, skipped introducing our guest in the studio. We have Livoros Oshoma, barrister, joining us in the studio, and we're talking about river state politics. Now, let's quickly take a look at this. Something really happened. I read this report, and it's baffling. Now, the media advisor, Opunabo Unko Taria, who is the you know, Opunabo, media advisor to, um, exactly, to uh, Governor Yesom Wike. Now, he said, he, he said something. He said, what is going on right now can best be described as judicial gang up against Governor Wike. He said, and also the people of River State. He said, it is an affront on democracy and a blight regard for the will of the people as evidenced in the April 11 general elections. He said, the courts are sitting, you know, are setting pernicious, you know, precedent by hinging their verdict on, you know, points that are not really, you know, uh, you know uh, verifiable know or yeah. tangible. Now, you said Rivers people overwhelmingly gave their mandates to Governor Wiki, but a, microsco uh, a, a microscopic, uh, you know, few want to wrestle with that man mandate and ensure that they get it back through... The back to door. the back door. Let me, let me, let me, let, let me say sorry, something. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I, I must, um, so that I don't forget. Uh, the exactly. point. He's, he's speaking for Wiki. And so what do you expect him to say? He will definitely speak this way. Um, so we but he's to, actually addressing, what, he's actually attacking to, the judiciary. We the need judiciary. to look at all of the issues. Okay. I said it here, you know, um, uh, some time ago that we mm. all knew what happened in River State. Right from 2003, election hardly holds in River State elections, even when they hold their head on, on people's blood and all of that. So the people, the politicians themselves, actually laid the foundation for all of this. And so mm. we saw the insecurity. Mm. So if a man a hinge is um, an inability to sit on that insecurity created by the politician, what it basically means is next time, try as much as you can to be peaceful during election so that you exactly. don't create opportunity for, for, Challenge. for challenges. Mm -hmm. You know, we all saw what happened. We saw the demonstrations. We saw the riots. We saw the fact we that there the were killings. no... The killings. We saw the fact that there were no um, uh, resource sheets. People kept asking for resource sheets and all of So if it happened this way, like I said yesterday, I won't sit down here and say they are underhand dealings. You know, because basically there might be, but it is difficult for you to see them at this level because even the politicians, you know, prepare this recipe, and that is what they are enjoying now. They, they, they both, you, you know, have a hand and a blame in, 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 in this. What is that? Like, like I said, if, if PDP had allowed the election to go smoothly yes. without all of these uh, manipulations that took place, probably they still would have won. And so, but rather than do go for an overkill and even refuse the opposition from, from participating in the process, and then you turn around to say it's a gang up when you have already, you know, given opportunity yes. for anybody that would want to, you know, do that. You gave, you saw, saw the one of Akwai bomb. It was pretty better, and that is why the, the tribunal uh, uh, so judgment just... went the way it went. But for Rivers, we all saw it that, you know, basically there let, was no let, let, let me, I want to, what I want to say is, is this, is that, you see, if uh, somebody says, from what you have been telling us, this, the judge says, oh, there is insecurity. If there is insecurity in the whole of Nigeria, then that means that our court will be sitting in the United States. <laughs> so that's what it means. Because, look, we know that this, there's politics. this is politics. Eh? And there have been insinuations that... So you, you, your, that belief, APC, you, your belief is that most of these judgments are very political. No, of course. I, no, no, no. I, I'm not necessarily saying that, but... <laughs> We, the, the ruling party is giving us that kind of impression. How can, this is a politics. This is, I mean, this is politics. It's a political matter between APC and PDP. And then you now take 
a matter that is supposed to be sitting in reverse to take it to Abuja, and you know that the presidency belongs to the ruling party, President Muhammad Buhari. I mean, everybody will read. No, it's no. natural. Now, they should have provided enough security for the tribunal. Simple. We have the Air Force, we have Navy, we have soldiers. We have put whatever no, security we said that, that the elections in 2015 should not be militarized. I mean, we, we discussed this extensively I, 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 on this show. Dako, when I say, I mean, if when you I militarize say, it, you will still have no, a constant no, no, example Dako, when of I say what military, we have When I say military, I don't, what mean, we have in a I don't necessarily Dako. mean military. I mean, yes, I, mean I mean they should put Dako. enough security I I, there. I, I, there's no excuse. That should not be the Navy, the Army, the Air Force. I just use that when I say as a fact. I mean, the elections will be fully militarized. Provided security for this man. I think I get his drift. Yeah. If you look at... Your, your uh, election petition yes. tribunal yesterday, there was heavy security presence. People were fleeks uh, uh, um, uh, before they were allowed into the uh, uh, hall. In most part of the country, it is like that. As I speak now, you still have judges st sitting in, in River State. And so what I am saying is when things of this nature happen, what you do, you try as much as you can to create strong security around these persons to ensure that you know, their lives are protected so that we know politicians, so that we don't set a bad precedent that we cannot sustain in the future. I think, because I think, sir, they, they know I wait, think, no, wait, sorry wait, to wait, interject you, I think the precedence is already set, wait, and that is why that we that need so much security for that the that tribunal that that to be able to, yes, that is to, be able because, to carry out their... So what are we saying now? So because of that, uh, we should all take, take all the tribunals to sit in Abuja. All to the US, like, like... All to the US. And so that's why I tell you that the politicians' attitude to election and the followers' attitude to election. So we treat our politicians as a demigod, as a, we, we operate democracy as if it's an oligarchy system of, system government, of government where the king can do no wrong. And so that is why the way we see our politicians too. And you see people wanting to kill to serve you. Wow. And so when you now have that kind of environment, you see people also, you know, um, trying to um, manipulate the process. All right. uh, because they all manipulate the process. Okay. So that is why once one person is out manipulated, he complains that you that, see that, basically that, that, what that is happening. Uh, all right, let's take this call from Abuja quickly. Alex, good morning. Good morning, Adina. Great to have you on the show. And good morning. Welcome to Yuka. Good yeah, morning, me. Alex. How is that? You know, well. Your call is not very clear, yes. Alex. Maybe you should turn down the volume of your TV set. We could hardly hear you. Can you try call us back? All right, thank you. Thank you, Alex. We expect your, your call. So, and, and, so, so yeah. basically, and that's why you, you find all of this. So what we should do, rather than relocate tribunals, Except there is a complete breakdown of law and order, you know, and is it's that impossible. Not what we have in River State? No, 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 no. It's so impossible for security uh, agencies, agencies to handle the situation. Then you now say, look, as it is now, we cannot handle it. So when the politicians have uh, provided the opportunity, and then the, poli the um, uh, judiciary also played to the hands of the politicians, and then you now begin to hear accusations or counter accusations. But for me, I want to look at it dispassionately. Agreed, elections didn't hold. From what we observed, elections did uh, largely took place. But the precedent also set by the same courts is to the fact that in nullifying elections, you must ensure that there is proof, even though you know yes. that there is proof that election did not hold in each on, on, of all the polling units where you nullify those elections and, right. and not um, randomly. All right, sorry, let's quickly take this call. Good morning, Adela. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, depending on as you're talking. I want to talk on this issue of relocation of uh, tribunal to Abuja okay. and the security. We all knew what happened in Ekiti State, for example, how the hoodlums attack judges right there inside the tribunal hall. So what am I saying is this. It is better to save the people first. During the election in, in River State, I'm here in Paracol, you saw the killings. No human being will know that sitting in Port court is not safe. So I really, surpri I really surprised that people are killing, they're taking it to Abuja, they're taking it to Abuja. And from day one, anybody that goes against the, this tribunal judgment, you know, the person may not be fair to human, uh, uh, human entity. 
the election in River State is not supposed to be called election. And at this point, I advise those people that are crying. Hello, Deola. Step to down. Go back to Hello, the world and come back again. I'm, I'm listening. Deola, were you, were you right there in Paracourt during the elections? Yes. I'm in Paracourt. If you in, in the day of election, if you go to the uh, full unit with the mind of voting for, let me say, opposition party, when you get there, you will, you can't vote for them because it's, it's it's more like an open open ballot system. You say, okay, vote for this one. It's 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 not an election, my brother. So let us stop as in talking. Let us try to say, let's start doing it. We are doing it right for uh, as from now on. All we right. Not just, we should not just be praising uh, as a killings and injustice here and there. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Thank All you right, thank much. you so very much, Adela. <laughs> Fantastic uh, input and contribution. We appreciate it. Now, my, my, my major concern, which is still talked about, it means going forward now for, for us to have uh, judgment or for, for judgment to be free and fair or for, for it to come without favor or fear. Then our tribunals will have to be heavily manned you know, by security agents or probably taken out yes, of the, the state. Yes, no, the security agencies should do their work. They go to the police colleges, they, they, they are properly trained. Why do we have security? Why are they collecting salaries if they can't do their work? All right, let's, let's ah. quickly take this call from Enugu. Bolivar, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you on the show, Bolivar. Uh, my name is it's not Bolivar, it's Oliver. I used to call it uh, Oliver. Oliver. Oh, Oliver. oh, my friend Oliver. Sorry, I think they got that name um, uh, wrongly. Uh, but that's okay, Oliver. Good morning. Uh, good morning, sir. And the guest on the. Good on morning, the Oliver. Uh, I want to talk about the Rivers uh, Election uh, Tribunal. I think uh, justice has been served on the on the people of River State because those people that were killed during the the campaign, we know all what went uh, went on during that period. Because if any time APC have their rally, you hear whether two people, three people have been killed. Any day PDB have their own, you will not even hear flyers has been killed that day. So. And for the for for weekend to be crying wolf because uh, his election is being nullified that that's good that's good thing for democracy democracy because we know all the because uh, the uh, demand from uh, that state demand that carried the results of Abuja because if you could remember uh, he tried to read the the presidential uh, election result from. Uh, another shit that Professor Jega insists he should read from the original because that that result was was people sit that somewhere was presidential and election result for so the governorship. Mm. this is a good thing to happen for uh, River System. I know I'm not there, but that's a good thing because that that man they use force and put themselves there. So this is a good thing. Bye bye. All right, thank you very much, Oliver. <laughs> Let, I mean, before we go on. To the last lap of the show, let's quickly produce, I mean, I mean, progress on a very short break. And then when we come back, we'll still be talking to Libero Sushoma and Yemi Olakitan in the studio. We'll be right back. All right, back in the studio, we're still, you're still watching Crossfire. And I have Libero Oshoma Barista in the studio. And Yemi's still here too. And we'll be talking about, you know, the classical example of justice that we witnessed in the case of uh, Gensom Wike, the um, sacked <laughs> governor of River State. I mean, yeah. it's really very... Now, now my, my question, because we don't have so much time on the show, is to, is to query. You are a barrister. You've been around for quite a while. People are fast losing, you know, uh, I mean, I think the justice system in Nigeria is fast losing credibility. People are losing, uh, I mean, are no longer having faith, let me put it that way, in the justice system in Nigeria. And, and it has, I'm not talking only about, you know, political matters, electoral, okay, you know, petitions. Okay. I'm talking generally this time. You know, I think there's a level of compromise that has been witnessed over time in the... In so the basically, um, Oladi Bodia once said um, uh, that, you know, it was so bad that judges will write uh, two judgments. 
one in the right pocket, the other one in the left pocket. So it depends on his mood inside there. Yeah, the depending the on how well the bread is buttered, that's what, you know. Let, let's take this call from Lisa up. before you continue. That's a very, very that's on a very light note, I guess. <laughs> Lisa, good morning. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lisa. All right, we lost that call. Uh, yeah. And so, um, which, um, you know, brought about these reforms. If you remember before now, Tribunal, election petition tribunals will sit for three years plus, mm -hmm. drag the matter, you know. And so there were reforms to see how, you know, time, uh, you know, can be limited. And then, uh, but the limitation of the time also had led to the untimely death, you know, of some, tri of some matters at the tribunal mm -hmm. without properly exhausting them. And so that is why, um, like they say, when a judge sits on trial, the judge is on trial. Uh, when a lawyer is handling a matter, the lawyer also is on trial. Mm -hmm. And so that is why there should be what you call case management. The judges should try as much as they can to manage can their we cases. Can take a call? Okay. Alex, good morning. Good morning. Good to have last, you back on the show. Last time you need to declare now. Yes. Last time you need to declare now, doctor. Yes, it is. Please go ahead. Okay. You see, I want to comment on the security implication of the research group election report record. Because it seems now uh, the organs that we are supposed to serve the masses, the judiciary, and then the security uh, department, they are all going down to the present uh, government in place in Abuja. And I think that was what informed the movement of the Tribuna from Portacos in the first place to Abuja. And now uh, elections will be, will be reconducted within three months of the government and then some Take houses of identity. So I see a certain mighty half of Abuja try to detect the security status for Bali for Paco. It may not set to really favor in the schedule of action in reverse. What I'm trying to point out again, let me go back to the campaign period. When GKB, what you are mentioning, and the National Security Secretary, like Mohammed, we are promising authority, a parallel government, and that the further making it. Of course, that is in case the only PDP then know the election, which is actually a lot of. So they must be conscious of some of their prevarications, some of the statements they made there, in order not to use a particular state to know this kind of major trouble, particularly in that state. I have been maintaining, even if you conduct the election, don't get that, this is to start a way. But I am afraid the way it is going, having to respond to the fact that the same DPP. Some archive of ten houses of assembly, but for a total reason, I, I can just imagine what will happen in the next election. That for so I'm not, it's not a comfortable situation at all. So if our president, uh, Bonham is playing you for, you should be able to call all the principal members of the FCC to wonder let them not throw this country, what part of the country, and just continue on again. At least we have the north going on in the northeast. That is my thing this morning, that's all. Thank you Happy so Happy very much, Alex, as usual. I mean, you see, to be very sincere with you, I think I think we may not be setting a very good uh, precedent, you know, going forward. But let's take this call from Chile. Chile, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you on uh, Crossfire this morning. Yeah, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Uh, please, uh, I will uh, want to add uh, my voice to the issues that uh, we are discussing. Please go ahead. Uh, I have been following uh, the discussion for some time now, and uh, I must say that uh, uh, Barrister uh, Oshoma, I like his views, but I tend to notice that at times we are being a little bit economical with the truth. We are being economical with the truth. When you know what is right and fail to do it, it becomes another problem. The, you know, the, 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 the Supreme Court has given a ruling concerning the uh, card reader. And if any other court that is lower should now jettison that, uh, that, that, jettison that view, it then now means that there is a problem in our judicial system. We discussed it yesterday. For them to say that the card reader should not be what should be used to determine if an election is proper or not. And then the lower court is now saying that because of it, because the card, uh, mm. because, uh, uh, it, uh, the card reader was, uh, uh, was not used properly or thereabout, that 
this uh, an election is cancelled. It is wrong. Now, let me come again. Somebody is saying that in River State there was no election. I beg, I beg, for Christ's sake, I beg to dispute this. I am in Boni, for instance. Boni, look, in, look, in, are you telling me that I cannot claim for sure that all the elections in River State or uh, uh, in all the local government we are in, we are uh, free and fair because I am okay. only in Boni. Okay. But I will I will talk about the local government that I am. The local government that is Boni. Nobody, nobody that is human that will say that election in Boni was not free and fair. There was there, that there was any problem here. And somebody that is mm-hmm. talking in Portacourt about the problem that was in Portacourt. Are you saying that Portacourt is the river state? All right. If the election is not... Thank, uh, thank you very much, Chile. Thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, because I, I, of time... I think that's, um, yeah. that's a, a, a good observation. That's also... And the guys from Rivers. That brought, brings me to what I said earlier. The Supreme Court decision he's relying on is to the effect that if you are nullifying the election in the entire state, you must take cognizance of the fact that witnesses from the pulling boots must also testify mm. as to the fact that election did not hold in, in this place. And so it must be overwhelming. Election didn't hold in this place. Where it is difficult for you to, to for the witness to actually prove that election didn't, hopefully, didn't take place. The presumption is that election took place. Took place so yes. that was this decision, you know, uh, before now, when nullifying election. And so that was why I think that is probably what advised the uh, tribunal and acquired bomb not to have nullified, the, you know, the, the all the elections, elections the but, entire election, yeah. but some areas that they were been able to establish that elections didn't take, take place. place. But for those of us that monitored from Lagos, we saw that Port Harcourt largely and some parts around Port Harcourt, you know, where the, the, the confusion there was, was, was very high. People were asking for resort sheets that resource sheets were not brought to the polling unit. And if resource sheets were not brought to the polling unit, even if voting actually took place, how did you now record the voting the that voting took place? That so took those place. are the issues. And then I mean, on the judiciary, basically, like I said, that was what led to all of these reforms. And there's need for us as a people. You see, it's always, when it was PDP, we all had this issue of, um, oh, the judiciary pandering towards you know, PDP. And now it is the APC, and there are the same complaint that is as if they are doing the bidding of the oh, APC. APC. That is why the judiciary should try as much as they can to be neutral, to, to, be neutral, to mm. stand firm. Let justice be done if even the heavens will fall. Will fall. And let justice be done. Not, not Justice should not only be seen to have been done, but should be manifestly seen to have, been, to done. have been done. That any reasonable man that listens and look at the issue will say, yes, the conclusion so that was arrived was, should was be, just. Should be judged on, on, on his merits. Yes, merits. on his merits and not, you know, you, that's why judges don't go fishing for evidence, mm. you they know, in every matter. People. They allow, it is for you to establish your case and it is for the opponent to establish theirs. At the end of the day, on the basis of probability, the judge will arrive at a just decision. And that is why also, there are court of appeal and there is Supreme Court. And so the process is still ongoing. The parties will exhaust their right All of their appeal. Options, um, and then also, I also want to advise them, rather than cry, because they also actually prepared this recipe for this, what we are seeing, and like I said, the issue of um, violence and the rest. They should also start, you know, campaigning educating and reaching out their, and, and their, educating their, their, members. their members and supporters and the ordinary man. And especially since there's going to be a real there, there, there so might there, be. There might be, okay. The ordinary man on the street should know that it is these politicians against the masses. Right. They are not quarreling. <laughs> Tomorrow, yesterday, right. PDA, Amechi was in PDP and they were solidly together. In 2011, Amechi gave Bullock Jonathan two point something million exactly. votes. But right. today they are quarreling. And they want to use the ordinary man on the street as Absolutely. the pawn. They should they should refuse to be used, basically. All right. Thank you so very much, Barista Libero mm. Shoma. And don't forget, we started, you know, promoting hashtag November 10. And it's still very much on. Don't forget, just post on Instagram, dot tag, and then you can send it to at Cool TV Nigeria. And then we will repost and you stand to win um, some beautiful prizes. Don't forget... Be a part of it. So, did you like what you just saw? I know you did. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. If you want to see more, just subscribe to our channel right now.